Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, if you haven't read from the title, I uh, found a little technique that I use to record my PS3 footage with uh, Elgato Game Capture HD 60S without actually using an HDMI splitter. So I've watched a lot of videos here on YouTube and pretty much everybody describes the exact same thing. Everybody wants you to buy an HDMI converter or HDMI splitter, which is fine if that's what you want. But I found an alternative where you don't have to buy an HDMI splitter or a converter just by using your Elgato 60S. I don't know if this works on the 60 or on the other Elgato devices. The PS3 has always been problematic with HDCP, which stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. And I figured if it works on another console, if it works on an Xbox just fine, if it works on like older retro consoles, then what's what's stopping it from working on the PS3? So I tried messing around with some software and I managed to get it to work and I'm capturing my footage now without even using an HDMI splitter. So I can't guarantee this fix to actually work for every single Elgato device. I just know that somehow, some way, I got it to work on my 60S using a Windows. This tutorial is kind of going to be lengthy, but when you do it for the second time, it's it's pretty simple. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to obsproject.com, click Windows, and download the OBS Studio. So the next thing we want to do, if you haven't already, is download the Elgato software, which you can find on their website. Select your product, and scroll down to HD60S. And once those two applications finish downloading, just install both of them. Now I'm going to show you a quick step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your Elgato. You may know this already, but I'm going to show you anyways, just so you can see that I ain't using no splitter or no converter. First I'm going to show you what the contents are. When you open up your box, you got your actual Elgato device. Then you got your HDMI cable. And then you got your USB cable, which connects to your Elgato to your PC. So as you can see, this is my HDMI wire coming from my TV. So I'm going to unplug that from my PS3. Pop off these little plastic covers. Next thing you want to do is take this wire and install it into your Turbo Graphics. No, I'm joking. Install it into your in port and take the other end and install that into your PS3. Now grab the HDMI wire that's coming out of your TV and just install that into the out port of your Elgato. Now grab the USB 3.0 wire and install the small port into the Elgato and the other port into your PC. Now go ahead and turn your PS3 on. As you can see, it'll still display your PS3. It's only when you open up a capturing software when it makes your signal fail. And as soon as you open up the Elgato software, you can see we lost our signal. And that's when the HDCP comes into effect. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is set up OBS to recognize the Elgato device. Click the plus sign, click video capture, create a new source, call it something like Elgato 60S, click OK, then from device go all the way down to Elgato Game Capture HD and just hit OK. You'll see that there's no signal but hopefully we can fix that. So I heard people were having some issues finding the Elgato Game Capture HD in the device in OBS. If that's the case I have a file in the description that you can download. Just a reminder if you do end up using my current settings you are going to replace your OBS scene settings with my settings. It's not that big of a deal, but if it bothers you and you already have like a scene set up in your OBS, then you might just want to try to do it manually. Alright, now that your OBS settings are somewhat identical to mine, or exactly identical to mine, the next thing we want to do is open up the Game Capture HD from Elgato, 
and I did hear that there are people complaining about issues with audio like they can get the video working even with the splitter and the HD adapters and whatnot but if you want to follow the exact same settings that I have you're welcome to so what I did is I went down to the live commentary and under live commentary I just made sure that the game capture HD 60s audio was checked then the next thing I did is I went to the Elgato sound capture make sure that the audio is checked on just like that then click on the settings button click advance then from the advanced tab just make sure all the settings look like this and in the little area where it says what's your audio input you want to click game capture HD 60 as audio just a reminder if you wanted to use a mic where we clicked live commentary and we had the actual game footage coming in you would want to change that to your microphone settings instead of the game capture but for this instance I just wanted to capture audio footage from the game itself so we're gonna keep these settings for now close out of your Elgato capturing software make sure nothing is open and let's start fresh so now that everything is closed open up OBS and let that just open up and as you can see we're still getting no signal this is where the interesting part happens now keep OBS open don't close OBS and go ahead and open your game capture HD and watch what happens when you have both of these applications open at the same time this will open up and voila I don't know what makes this happen but all I know is that there's some kind of interference as you can see there's no splitter there's nothing both softwares open at the same time you're still getting the HDCP error but regardless you're still able to stream you're still able to capture and it, it doesn't interfere with anything let's go ahead and close the Elgato software and we'll stay on OBS okay now that only OBS is open let's hit properties and let's go to configure video alright and once you've got configure settings open you can see you got your HDCP error up there which doesn't matter because we're still bypassing it go down to input device I will leave that on PlayStation 4 because at this point it doesn't really matter it's working either way I will leave it on standard make sure your profile is at 1080 and I leave allow 60 frames per second you don't necessarily have to do it and that every game supports it and then once that's done just click done let's go ahead and start up a game I'm just gonna do uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reshelled I think the HD version you can see everything's loading just fine the screens displaying but we got one issue there's no audio and at first I thought well great I found a way to display it I found a way to capture it but there's no audio so that's a bummer so I played around with the software for a little while and I found a solution for that see as you can see there is no audio no audio is showing so you wanna click on the Elgato 60 click on properties sorry about my shaky camera work here and then after that click on configure video again you open it up you check with on with analog and check with analog audio out and voila the audio is back so now you have audio coming out of your Elgato now that everything's working I'm actually gonna capture a little bit just to show you guys that everything is working let's go to options and lower the sound down a little bit the music rather and we'll leave the sound effects as they are we'll just bring the music levels down about right there sounds good okay hit OK and warning yes I do sure single player story mode and whatever easy just to give you guys an idea that this is working and of course Michelangelo he was my favorite turtle back when I was a kid
Um, hmm. I think I've only played this game once when I downloaded it, and um, I will say that it sucks that this game was delisted from the store. And I also suck. I suck. See? But uh, yeah, uh, you see, everything seems to be working. My capture card is working. The audio seems like it's hitting the red peak, which when it hits red, is, does that mean the audio is getting distorted? Either way, this this game itself just plays, the music plays really super loud, so I think there's um, some issues with this game itself. I, I think another game wouldn't peak as high. And grab the pizza, sure. Why not? I always like to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, even though I don't. But okay, and there you go. I'm going to stop the footage now. Let's click stop. And voila. Let's go to the file itself. Open it up. Ugh. Shaky, shaky cans. Open that up. And as you can see, that is my footage of me playing it. That's me adjusting the, 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 the music. I'm just going to skip it forward a little bit. As you can see, this is my actual gameplay. I'll show you one, guys once again. No splitter connected. It's directly to my PC, from the Elgato to the PS3. Now, I, I don't know if this is going to work for everybody. I know it worked for me, so I, hopefully it does. Because nobody wants to have an extra splitter set up. It's just taking up another outlet. And at the same time, it's going to be all daisy-chained. And it's just a big mess. So this, to me, is more simplistic. It's just the hassle of opening up both OBS and the Game Capture HD from Elgato software. You have to have those softwares open at the same time. So just a little heads up that when you do change from like let's say a 1080 input signal to a 720 input signal, you will lose audio. And you'll just have to do the same thing. Just go into the analog in your OBS settings, just check the box, check it on, and then check it off and your audio should come back. Thanks for watching and if I find any other tricks and any other tips, I'll make sure to make a video about it.